I'm joined now by Chris. Chris is the head brewer here at Forgotten Boardwalk. Say hello, man. Hey, how are you? So, Chris, what is it that set you guys apart from all the other breweries in the area? Uh, first of all, I think that we have a really unique uh, tap room here um, between all the games and old boardwalk, old school feel. Um, we like to dive into New Jersey history, and a lot of our beers are inspired by history um, here in New Jersey and also the Philadelphia area. Um, and uh, you come here, there's plenty of games to play. It's a great place to hang out, beautiful outside area. And also, uh, we have 15 taps, and just about everything is a different style. So we don't just go for, like, you know, the one, you know. We're not just, like, a hazy IPA brewery. Like so as far as all the other breweries in the area, is it competition, or are you guys working together? Um, we all love to work uh, together. We wouldn't classify it as competition. However, um, other breweries and what they make do, like, does push us to venture into other areas and kind of just try to keep up with, with the market. And I think we're all just pushing each other to, to be better in general. There's that competitiveness. There's that rivalry. Yeah. So you've been in New Jersey, what, a year or two now at this point? Yeah, almost three years at this point. Um, I moved here about, like, 2021, Okay. I think. And, um, yeah, I've been here for at Forgotten Boardwalk for two and a half years now. Okay. Um, uh, this is my first time in this area. I moved here for this job. I absolutely love the uh, the Cherry Hill and uh, Philadelphia area. It's also nice to be close to the shore. And and that kind of segues into my next question. Uh, what are your thoughts on the craft beer community in the area? Um, it's actually a really unique um, like area for me. Um, I've worked in Connecticut, uh, New York, and I just feel like the people here and other breweries, um, we all like to spend time like, at going to see other breweries, and, and there's plenty of breweries around here in the area. Uh, it's nice to uh, keep trying new places and seeing what they, what they put out. Uh, I've worked other places where it's just kind of like you stuck to where you work and what you know, and you didn't really bother with anyone else. And here, I'd say that it's uh, everyone's really, really friendly. We're always like trading beer and uh, getting to know each other some more, and it's a lot of fun. All right. Yeah. How have the New Jersey State Brewery laws that went into effect July first, twenty twenty-two, affected you guys? Well, I'd say um, the laws in general in New Jersey are a lot tougher on on craft breweries, um, small business. Uh, and like I was mentioning before, I've worked in other states. You know, no one had these kinds of restrictions on, on, their, on their businesses. They were able to thrive with, the, uh, with food trucks and having uh, kitchens. And, and basically, having, there's more to do or more available for you at breweries in other states. You go to Pennsylvania, um, they can serve uh, like wine and liquor and um, you know, mixed drinks at, at, these, at these breweries. Same thing with... I used to work at Barrier in Long Island. Um, they, they had a food truck there. Um, they have one every day. Uh, so it's, uh, it's kind of, um, it's sad that uh, we don't have these tools that a lot of other people have, because then it limits us and it restricts us and what we're able to do. Um, and it just, it makes it a little bit tougher to, to get by sometimes. If there were four words you could say to Governor Phil Murphy, what would they be? Sign the bill, Phil. So what's your favorite style, A, to brew, and B, personally, to drink? Um, for brewing purposes, my favorite style is probably a lager. Um, <laughs> for me, it comes down to my mash out. Uh, when I'm graining out, uh, it's just <laughs> probably the least amount of grain, least amount of work. Yeah. Uh, and also, back to um, my favorite style, it's also got to be like a Czech Pilsner or some kind of Kolsch. Um, those styles are really my favorite. Those easy, crisp, light drinking beers that you can really have them year round. Um, so that's yeah. that's that's always yeah. like my go-to when I go to visit a brewery, a lager pilsner um, up in that area. I used to be um, a big guy of uh, a big fan of hazy IPAs, and now I just uh, I'm kind of like leaning away from. Well, that. you do them very well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I do believe also that we make a really good hazy IPAs here. Um, I'm drinking one right now. Uh, this is probably my go-to at the brewery right now. It's called Forget Me Not. We just released it. Um, 
6.6% hazy IPA with Vic, Sec uh, Vic Secret, Idaho 7, and Enigma hops. Um, really well-balanced IPA. Um, probably one of my favorites that I've made. Um, but as far as other styles of my favorite beers, I definitely go for like the, the German, like Pilsners. And, the traditional yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's, that's easily my favorite, yeah. What about you? I'm an equal opportunity drinker. Yeah, <laughs> equal opportunity. I'll yeah. try anything and yeah. tell you how it is. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so if you could recommend one beer to someone coming here for the first time, mm -hmm. what would you recommend? Um, depends on their style. Uh, I, I tend to lean two different ways. We have people come in here and they love the, uh, like our bourbon barrel age Gravity Road. That's probably something that we're, we're known for pretty well here. Excellent um, stuff. <laughs> Nitro Funnel Cake is great. And if you haven't already tried any of our seltzers, go for, uh, my favorite is the Tangerine Rosé. And if you're like me and you like lagers, um, have what's uh, on our side pour. And a 20 ounce dimple mug, you can't beat it. Also, the uh, Fest beer is yeah. amazing. Yeah, Fest beer came out really nice. I'm happy with that one. I've been on, excellent job on. Thank that. you. Yeah, that was the first time I did it uh, on a on our uh, 30 barrel system, and able to distribute it and can it. And uh, I've, the last few years, I've been uh, making it on our small system. So it was nice to like scale it up and actually oh, yeah. put it out there for everyone. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And that's available still at Joe Canals in Marlton. Maybe not by the time this airs. Check it out. Well, thanks for joining me, Chris. It was a pleasure talking thanks, to thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in, BJ. Love, uh, I love you, man. Good dude. Um, thank you for being a supporter. I really appreciate your time. Hey, man, I love what you're doing, too, man. We got, we're mutual supporters yeah, over here. There we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys.